Chapter 5. Um, no, it does actually. It continues on from Chapter 3, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah, so we get yeah. back. We finally... So... I Arthur's mean, it was one destroyed. chapter, but... Yeah. It, Earth has been so, destroyed, and we're back with Arthur and Ford. Yeah. It feels like it's doing, like, a back and forth throughout, like, the first bit of the chapter. It goes for a bit about Vogon Jolts, and then back to Arthur and Ford, who are back. They, they, they teleported into a room filled with living mattresses and old underwear. Right, the uh, Dentrowski? Yeah. Um... That's the name of the chefs. Yeah. So they're... Yeah. It's a Vogon ship, but the um, Dentrasi are the hired catering or whatever. Yeah. Which are the ones that uh, let them on board just to annoy the Vogons. Um, yeah. You're right. It starts with a little description about... Prost... Prostetnik? Vogon Jolts? Yeah, um, the, the Vogon, like captain or whatever yeah um, and but, and also talking about the 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 vogue sphere right and also talks about like how vogon just like is it them that came out the water one day and evolved and then they've just been left for the rest of eternity <laughs> yeah just as and then would just do surgery on each other to to improve each other's yeah um appearance and that's ability like, the home, the home planet of the Vogons, the the Vogue, Vogue sphere. Yeah, it's like basically <laughs> nature decided it made a mistake and just left them as like blobs and never, yeah. never tried to adapt them any further. Yeah, and instead made all these like beautiful creatures. Like yeah, what was the the elk was the best one? It was like, um. No, where is it? Um. Oh, uh, gazelle. Oh yeah, elegant gazelle creatures with silken coats and dewy eyes, oh, yeah. which the Vogons would catch and sit on. They were no <laughs> use as transportation because their backs would snap instantly, but the Vogons sat on them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's like... the part. Yeah. Uh, so I. Uh, this one it gives you a bit of insight into Ford's background. Um, oh yeah, it talks about his uh, grandfather and uh, sorry, yeah, his grandfather and his father. Yeah, and his original name and <laughs> and it talks about whatever a harang was and why it decided to collapse. Yeah, so I guess Beetle he's from Beetlejuice Seven or something. Yeah, and and that's and he moved to yeah, that's the been destroyed somehow yeah or oh, do you like the bit where it's talking about how ford never understood how humans will just randomly state things that are seemingly obvious yeah <laughs> like a, it's a nice day or you're very tall or, oh dear you've seemed to fallen down a 30 foot well are you all right <laughs> um and stuff like that which is quite funny um we do stand tend to state things that are obvious <laughs> yeah um and they have that little back and forth like yes it's dark um and the um the and peanuts then, in the beer actually uh, yeah they were to do with yeah i i i did think there was some that cause there's they don't only reference random items without having some kind of major importance yeah um yeah Oh, um, Arthur is also introduced to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Right. Which is quite, it's like, don't he actually refers to it as, he, he says, it's like an electronic book. Yeah. Which I think is kind of funny. Yeah. To look back on. Um, so it seems way too overcomplicated. Like, he pushes a series of buttons, then he pushes another button, and then to turn a page, he pushes several other buttons. Yeah. And so on and so on. Well, because um, it, it's... It's not a touch screen. That would be yeah. silly. No, yeah, of course. We'll, we'll have a future technology is that. I was like, <laughs> I do like the bit where he's like, I like the cover. Don't panic. It's the first helpful, intelligible thing anybody said to me all day. <laughs> Which, yeah, yeah it's been, it's true. <laughs> I mean, I, I saw that as kind of being rude to Ford, who's 
like Ben explaining things as best he can and and uh you know literally saving his life getting him off mm. the planet before it's evaporated but yeah sure Arthur this this book is the first intelligible thing anyone said to you um yeah, yeah. I, I don't know it's just silly um and also, then this whole bit um the bit uh, about yeah, the teaser the teasers oh yeah it was talking about a teaser these uh, rich kids have nothing better to do <laughs> and they bleat and they earn it and, um, and then, yeah they buzz them <laughs> right it's like basically every alien abduction story or like alien mm. ufo sighting or whatever yeah it's, pretty much it's just some like rich kid playing a practical joke on a planet that hasn't contacted alien life yeah it, just, yeah that that was quite funny um let's put put on a bunch of fake antennas and make crop circles and stuff like yeah like, yeah <laughs> perfect um also i like how it just leaves this on no account uh, on no account allow folk want to read poetry to you and it just ends there on the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy entry which is quite funny um yeah yeah i i, I also do like how um just how the mattresses <laughs> uh what does it say? It says there are very few cases where they've come back to life. Right. Yeah. It's like there's <laughs> there's really nothing to worry about that mattress because they're after they're grown, they're like properly killed and dried. Um, yeah. Dried very thoroughly. And yeah. Like I guess they grow their mattresses. Um, yeah. Which kind of makes sense. Like yeah, if you just wanted like a large spongy thing, like it's probably. A way you could grow that. Yeah, it does, yeah. I or do you like the little, um, like, character back and forth? Yeah, actually, for that, I kind of just imagine just a swamp land, but there's just a bunch of mattresses with legs running around. <laughs> um, <laughs> and just the guy comes out with a rifle. And, anyway, uh, I do like the little back and forth they have about the Ford sit up. We're safe, he said. Oh, good, said Arthur. We're in a small gall- uh, galley cabin, said Ford, in what? In one of um, the spaceships of the Vogon construction fleet. Ah, this is obviously some str- uh, uh, this is obviously some strange usage of the word "safe" that I've pre- previously unaware of. Yeah, um, <laughs> that was a good line. Yeah, I, that was quite funny. Uh, um, I guess that's that's about it. Um, al- yeah. Al- although I I was gonna say um, in my version there's uh, some footnotes. I don't know if I assume that's yeah, in- I go- in all yeah. versions of it, but the one where it talks about Ford Prefect's original name. Yeah, and I think there was um, a footnote in the previous chapter as well. Um, what specifically the president did? Yeah, full title. The, yeah, I love that they're like they're written in the same kind of uh, voice. Like it's the footnotes themselves are actually kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, in a, a comedic fashion. Yeah, See, there she- was like a. Um, I say there was a good little back back and forth like around the meaning of safe where you can kind of tell that I guess it it feels like the way I read it it feels like they were having like a little sarcastic back and forth which is weird for Ford but it was a bit like oh did a bug eyed um, monster come and pick up pick us up and it's like <laughs> and they have like a nice little look I guess it I guess Arthur is being witty but at the same time Ford is like it feels like he is. It feels like he is, but if you think like about it's, it, like he might be he, being completely serious. Yeah, because he doesn't take sock like it, because the the it kinda, the Vogon it actually is green, well. and like oh the the ones that picked him up were the it's called the the the, the Trassi. I guess it doesn't say. I, maybe they're green too, but yeah. But um, yeah. She, uh, I mean he. Yeah, and then, oh yeah, he was like, oh yeah, I haven't added that yet about the Dentrasi hating the Vogons, so they'll do anything involving picking up hitchhikers. Um, yeah, that um, seems like an important note to add to the Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah. Like a, an actual tip about hitchhiking seems yeah. uh, kind of crucial. Yeah, and it's like, unfortunately, yeah. Um, I do, like, I came for a week and got stuck for 15 years. <laughs> like, like you um, do. Yeah. Um, but I think that's all for this chapter. I do. Mm-hmm. I don't like how it just abruptly ends. This is what he heard. Oh, of course the um 
the weird yellow slimy fish you put in your ear to translate any language. Yeah. That was quite weird. Um, yeah, I, I have a feeling we might hear more about that in the next chapter as well, because that was kind of right at the end. Yeah, it, this is what he heard. 